Hi, this is DJ Dino from Jinxta Games, and this is a quick sample which will show you a way to add prefabs into an array list. There might be better and different ways, but this way seems to work fine for me. So let's get started. Uh, iterate is a custom action to make a loop, and I have my start index set to 1 and index set to 10, and my increment. I have set by a 1, then I have my loop event to loop, and my finish event to finish. So uh, what it will do is it will loop 10 times and then it will finish. Here I have another custom action called random vector 3, which will give me a random position in a sphere radius of 3. Then I will create a cube from my prefab on that vector 3 position and loop back. On my cube I have a find game object to get the game manager object and then I have an array list add to add the cube to the array list in the game object so in here. When it has looped 10 times iterate will finish and then I will use another iterate and loop five times and here I get a random object from the array list and save it in the get my cube variable and I will also save the index number from that object then I will remove the game object from the array list with uh, using the inter index number and then I will destroy that object. When it loops five times, um, it will finish. And I will show you now how it works. So when I press run, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So as you see, it destroyed it and it's finished. Now, um, there are some things you need to watch out for. If you do not use the wait function or action, um, you will get an error. As you can see, less than zero or more than list count. The reason is that it runs so fast that it did not find anything in the list yet. And to solve this, you have to use a next frame event. So it will go to the next frame event and then do the next part, giving time to the previous actions to finish what they were doing before the next part starts. So I'll play this. And as you can see, this time there is no error. A next frame event is very helpful on many uh, occasions that you have some errors similar to this. So that was my quick um, sample. And I hope this helped you out. And thank you for watching.